It's Christmas time, and the question must be asked, what do we celebrate at Christmas? Now, all of us may give a different answer to that question. Perhaps some would say it's the celebrating of giving and receiving gifts. Maybe it's the celebrating of big meals or time with family. For the more spiritually minded, maybe some would say it's the celebrating of a baby born. We think of those manger scenes, perhaps on a church platform somewhere or out in the front lawn. It's the baby in a manger with mom and dad standing next to the manger and the animals gathered around. Maybe there's an angel in the sky. There's got to be a star somewhere. That's what we celebrate at Christmas. But is it really? <laughs> Do we celebrate the birth of a child? Children are born every day, in fact, many times a day. We're thankful when they're born, but do we celebrate it as though we would celebrate the coming of a Messiah? Of course not. Why? <laughs> because at Christmas, we're not celebrating the birth of a baby. We're not celebrating a new life coming into the world. What we're celebrating is the coming of the Messiah. We're celebrating the fact that God took on human flesh. He was born of a virgin. He was born perfect and sinless. He lived a perfect and sinless life, robed in human flesh for one purpose so that he could die on the cross in our place, so that he could pay the price for our sin, and so that we could live eternally with him. You see, when we look at the various things we could celebrate during Christmas, we have to understand that fundamentally what we celebrate, although there are a lot of good things, what we're celebrating, what we're thankful for, why we stop everything else to reflect, is because on that Christmas day, a Savior was born. I don't know what you're going to do this Christmas. I hope that you, like me, will enjoy as much of it as possible. The get-togethers, the giving and receiving of presents, the, the big family meals. Spend time doing the things that you do and enjoying the traditions that you have, but don't ever forget that what we're celebrating will see its fulfillment a few months from now on Easter Sunday, because that baby born in a manger came to live and die to then rise again, defeating sin and defeating death for us. Why is Christmas such a wonderful holiday? Because it's the day we celebrate the hope of new life.